So I've created this article about um, how to gain muscle without gaining any fat and it's getting a lot of attention in the first couple of hours I've scored already 300 hits on my website uh, I've posted it up on Facebook, on StumbleUpon and on some other uh, social networking sites and stuff and uh, yeah it's getting a lot of attention so I thought I'd made, make a video about it uh, for you guys this will be my first YouTube video um, I don't expect that they will be very good but I'm gonna do my best and today I'm gonna tell you about how to gain muscle without gaining any fat by using um, your body's nitrogen levels um, I'll dive into what nitrogen levels are in just a bit but let me first tell you about proteins if you're into bodybuilding you probably know what proteins are by now to give you a, a general idea I will go over some uh, some important stuff here First of all, protein is the most important macronutrient in your body, especially when it comes down to bodybuilding. Um, it's used to repair your muscle tissue and it's accountable for 10 to 15 percent of your body weight. Uh, 60 to 70 percent of the total amount of protein found in your body um, can be traced back to your muscle. So 60 to 70 percent of the protein can be found in your muscle. But what are proteins? Proteins are made from amino acids. And there are two types of amino acids. You have the essential amino acids and the non-essential amino acids. And the name says it all. You need the essential amino acids uh, through consumption, right? What this will essentially do is influence your nitrogen levels. And I've got some great sources of valuable protein. You can check them out in the article I've written. Uh, the link will be in the description, by the way. So what are nitrogen levels you're probably wondering why should i even care or, or what, what the fuck is he talking about but um it's important to know what nitrogen levels are because when you know how a negative nitrogen balance is caused you can avoid it and you can stimulate your body to go into a positive nitrogen level and that will get you a lot of benefits nitrogen is a compound unique to protein the other macronutrients, um, carbs, fats and protein, you will find hydrogen, oxygen and carbon. But only in protein you will find nitrogen. So when you, when you compare um, the amount of nitrogen in your body to, to everything else, so to the hydrogen, the oxygen and the carbon, this will give you an idea of the current muscle growth potential of your body. There are a couple types of nitrogen balances you, your body can be in. Uh, we'll go over them now. There are three basic states. The first one is the positive states. Uh, in this state, you will give your body more nitrogen than it's, than it's burning. So the input will be greater than the output. This is definitely the state you want to be in because this is the state where your uh, muscle growth will be optimized. Then you have the second state, which is the state you should have avoid at all costs. This is a negative state. You don't want to be here, guys. You don't want to be in a negative state. It says it all, negative. In this state, the output is greater than the input, so you're not consuming enough proteins. And then you have the third state and last state, which is the equilibrium. <laughs> I wrote down okay, but man, I'd rather stay in a positive state, which is totally true. The equilibrium is the minimum any bodybuilder should be in. And you should only be in an equilibrium when when you're not fit, right? You want to be in a positive state at all times, and if you're in an equilibrium, you're doing decent, you're, you could be doing better, you're on the edge. You're on the edge there. You don't want to be there, you want to be in a positive state. Uh, so basically, in equilibrium, the output and input are equal, which means you're not regressing uh, nor progressing. So let's go over the main causes of a negative nitrogen balance. The first cause is an insufficient amount of protein or balance of amino acids. You're not eating enough protein. It will eventually cause your body to consume its own blood products, uh, decrease the amount of antibodies needed to fight diseases and infections, and eventually you will die. Uh, worst case scenario, of course, it's not going to happen to you, because by the end of this video, or by the end of the the article you will know <laughs> how to avoid this obviously so the second reason here is that you're not consuming enough carbohydrates nor are you consuming enough fats these are the two macronutrients you need to to get energy this is what your body metabolizes uh, for energy purposes right 
and you want to use your protein exclusively for muscle growth so if you're doing this wrong if you're not eating enough carbohydrates nor eating enough fat this will lower your nitrogen balance and eventually it will decrease muscle growth another common cause of a negative nitrogen balance is overtraining and if you want to know more about overtraining, I suggest you read my article. I've explained it a bit in there. What it basically is, is you're not giving your muscle enough time to rest and then you're breaking it down again. This will result in uh, muscle degeneration before you know it. So how can you make sure you're always in a positive nitrogen balance? How can you gain muscle without gaining fat? It's, it's really simple, you just follow these three simple rules. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not gonna sell you anything, it's just three simple rules you should follow. The first one is, in order to keep your nitrogen balance positive, you should consume a sufficient amount of protein. And with a sufficient amount of protein, I also insist that you eat only high quality proteins. It will get you so many benefits if you only eat high quality, yeah, high quality high protein packed food i've mentioned some sources in my article so if you want to check it out you could do so the link is in the description um, and next to your meal i would advise anyone to consume uh, a kind of protein supplement containing proteins carbs and fats you don't want to leave out one of the one of the macronutrients when you are consuming supplements because that will that will set you off balance real real quick and you don't want that to happen right so I take I personally take uh, protein supplements before a workout after a workout and I take a special product before I go to bed and the second rule is get enough sleep <laughs> it's simple get enough sleep you need sleep to regenerate your muscle. During your sleep, protein synthesis will take place. Uh, this will essentially cause muscle growth. So you need sleep, enough sleep. Whenever you sleep, day, night, I don't care, get the sleep. And the last and final rule is train in the anabolic fashion. Uh, I will explain it really short here, but you can check out my article again in the link is in the description. Uh, training in an anabolic fashion means that you're in an anabolic state all the time, before, during and after the workout. Being in an anabolic fashion is the same as being in a positive nitrogen balance. Adding up to that, your workout should be short and intense. I'm talking about under 45 minutes, but certainly above 30 minutes, so somewhere between that is fine. And it should be intense, your workout should be intense, you should, you should burn, you should burn energy, you should rip those muscles apart to rebuild them again. Um, I would suggest a maximum of four exercises for each body part if you're on a split schedule. Uh, if you're doing a full body workout every time you hit the gym, I suggest you go uh, do two exercises per muscle group, right? And last but not least, only train again when your body is sufficiently rested. There you have it, it's easy. I've elaborated on how this allows you to gain muscle without gaining fat. There are another three simple steps you should swear by when you are looking to uh, build quality muscle, lean quality muscle without gaining fat. Uh, it's really simple, three steps. If, you're <laughs> if you don't carry uh, around excess body fat, you could skip the first and the second step and go straight to the third step uh, check them out in the link below uh, leave your comments please go to our facebook page we need likes i need exposure um, and thanks for listening guys